My name is uh, Tibor Stichter. I'm a groundwater hydrologist working here at the Institute for Water Education, IHE in Delft. And um, I'm also coordinator of the Groundwatch program. So um, the Groundwatch program is actually an international master program in groundwater and global change, uh, impact and adaptation, that's the full title. And um, this course exists because we had the idea some years ago to um, build on an integrated study that combines groundwater, climate and social sciences. Because we clearly see there's a need for um, more expertise in this area. Groundwater is a role player as the largest liquid freshwater reservoir on Earth. And um, it's a role player in adaptation and uh, to global change and increasing food and water security. Uh, but at the same time, it's already threatened as well by many human activities. Uh, think of overexploitation and contamination. Groundwater, you will be studying um, disciplines related to groundwater uh, hydrology, uh, evidently, to climate science to climate groundwater feedback mechanisms, but also to how groundwater is used in adaptation solutions to global and climate change. So you acquire skills on planning and implementing uh, adaptation solutions, uh, also modeling skills in groundwater and climate, so that you can really simulate the, s the system behavior and its response to our uh, solutions that we, that we pose. So it's a mobility program uh, involving three main partners who are lecturing throughout three semesters. You will start at the uh, IST, the Instituto Superior Técnico in Lisbon, from the University of Lisbon, in September of each year. As a, and you will have different disciplines in groundwater and environmental sciences, introduction, also climate sciences. And then after six months, you move on to Delft, uh, here at, at our institute, the IHE Institute for Water Education, where you will spend the second semester, uh, digging deeper into uh, applied groundwater hydrology, groundwater modeling, field work as well. And in the second, in the third semester, you will then go to Dresden, where you are actually gaining more expertise in climate modeling and climate groundwater interactions. On completion of your third semester, you have the opportunity to go to either one of the three universities. Uh, to work on your thesis on a, on a MSc research during six months. This will be with one of the three partners, but also with uh, an, uh, possibly an asso associated partner, which can be a, a consulting firm, uh, a water authority or an NGO, who are working in the field and have problems that they would like uh, a student to work on uh, during his MSc research phase. Typically, you, do have, you already have quite some interaction with, um, with associated partners, such as private and public uh, sectors, uh, during your study, because you, you have the opportunity to do an internship in, uh, in July, August of the, of the first year, let's say. You also have the chance to work with them during your MSc thesis phase. So what will happen is that you are in contact with these sectors and with these companies and NGOs, and there might be an opportunity to work with the same, uh, with the same sectors following your graduation. So there are, there are clear career opportunities because these companies see the need for increased expertise in this field. Uh, we have seen throughout the past two years in which this program is running that there is a clear added value to studying in three different countries uh, at three different universities, uh, both on the academic side where you learn from different experts and different expertise, different backgrounds, but also on the social side. Uh, you're traveling in three, th with your group to three countries, you're doing fieldwork together, uh, you're learning different languages, and you, you become a united group in which you uh, clearly see that their interaction with each other, but also with the people in these countries, uh, have given them a rich experience.